When you go to the chapter web page, at the bottom of the page, beneath the chapter resources, you will find the chapter assignments. The chapter homework assignments are denoted by the H, the classwork by the letter C, the quizzes by Q. Clicking on a homework opens that homework. When you first open the homework, you will notice the name of the homework, the due date, the date that you last worked on the homework, your current score, and the number of attempts. There is no limit to the number of attempts that you can make on any homework assignment, and there is no penalty for having many attempts or only a few attempts. The grading for the homework is strictly based on the percent score for the homework. Clicking on the Start button, and here we have the different titles for the homework problems in this homework set. Clicking on any homework problem will bring you to that homework problem. You'll notice under current attempt that there are two incomplete attempts. That simply tells us the number of times the homework was opened. There is no penalty for opening and closing homeworks. Clicking on the first homework problem, we're brought to the homework. The homework question template is arranged in such a way that the problem numbers are across the top. The actual question is given here, and to the right you will find the learning aids. I have created a solution video for almost every homework problem. There are also other kinds of learning aids. Here we see two learning aids that are documents. Clicking on a learning aid opens that learning aid. Here you see the video opened, and you can see the closed caption icon, the icon that allows you to expand this to fill the entire screen. There's also a play pause button and a button that allows you to control the volume of the video at the screen level. Once a learning aid has been opened, you can minimize it. When a learning aid is minimized, it's conveniently put in the lower right hand corner of your screen so that it can be called back whenever you need it. You can open more than one learning aid at a time, minimize it. You can have two learning aids open at the same time reduce the size so that they fit on your monitor more easily. The text documents that are learning aids are PDF files that can be downloaded, saved to your computer, and printed out. This is a multiple choice question where there's only one correct answer. You select the answer you think is correct by checking the box. Use the check answer button to check your answer. When the answer is incorrect, you can try it again or skip and go to another question. When you reattempt a problem, you should uncheck your first choice and then click your next attempt. We'll check again and we see that this is also incorrect, but it tells us that we have tried this problem enough times. And if we now go to the next question, you'll notice that the first question is marked wrong. We can go back to the first question, and we can select similar question, and now attempt this problem. You attempt this problem in the same way, since it's a multiple choice. And when we check the answer, we see that it's correct. When we click Close, you'll notice that the red X above the number 1 turned to a green check. If you need to close the homework before you are finished, you may click the Submit button, or you may use the breadcrumbs across the top of the page. Either way, your work will be saved. When you go back to the homework, you will see the gradebook score as a percent. And when you click on the homework and click Improve My Score, you will see that the order of the homework questions has not changed. Your answers have been preserved. And you can now continue answering questions on this homework assignment. You may close a homework and reopen the homework as many times as you like without penalty.